Hi there, welcome back. We're having a look at linear relationships in this video series and in this particular video we're looking at sketching lines using X and Y intercepts. So sketching lines without a table of values. Tables of values can be good for graphing lines precisely but they take a long time so let's have a look at a few shortcuts here. If we know the or we can find out the X and Y intercepts that allows us to sketch lines pretty quickly. Let's have a look. Okay, if we were asked to sketch y equals 2x minus 4, uh, using x and y intercepts, uh, we can follow this process. We can find an x-intercept, that's where the line will cross the x-axis, by subbing into the, uh, the rule there, y equals 0. That'll find us an x-intercept. So let's do that first. The x-intercept happens when y equals 0. It's kind of like opposite land here. And uh, so there's the rule. If we sub in y equals naught, we're just putting a, replacing the y with a zero there, and we solve the resulting uh, equation here. Now, to get x on its own here, we would need to move the minus four, so we'll add four to both sides. This is just solving this equation. It's not the hardest equation known to man either. Uh, on this uh, right-hand side here, this uh, minus four and this plus four will cancel out, just leaving us with the, uh, the two x here. And then to get rid of the uh, 2, because uh, we need to get the x on its own here, we will divide by 2 both sides. And on this uh, right-hand side, they'll cancel each other out nicely, leaving us with x equals 4 divided by 2, or 2. So x equals 2. So we subbed in y equals 0 to find the x-intercept, and we've discovered that uh, that the x-intercept is 2. Okay, we'll keep that up, in, up our sleeve for later when we want to um, sketch uh, this line, y equals 2x minus 4 on the number plane. Okay, we've found the x-intercept. Now, to find the y-intercept, as uh, step 2 here, we sub in x equals 0 this time. So the y-intercept happens when x equals 0. So we've got our rule here. If we replace the x with a 0, two lots of 0, is 0, minus 4 is minus 4, so we have uh, y equals minus 4, and that's our y-intercept. So pretty quick to find the x-intercept and the y-intercept, we're just subbing in uh, y equals 0 and x uh, uh, to find the x-intercept, and x equals 0 to find the y-intercept. Pretty straightforward uh, algebra there involved there, so we've uh, got those two results, x-intercept of 2, y-intercept of minus 4, and uh, we'll keep that as our main ideas uh, for plotting this on the number plane here. So, here's our number plane. The next step, now that we've found the x-intercept and the y-intercept, is to plot them. Plot the x-intercept. Now, the x-intercept is 2, so I've shown you by the arrow there, that's uh, indicating on the number 2 on the x-axis. We'll plot that with a with a blob and we'll plot the y-intercept of minus 4, so there are two intercepts, the x-intercept of 2 and the y-intercept of minus 4. They become our two dots, and all we'll do, tough, uh, really not all that complex a situation for step 5, just join the dots, we used to do that in kindergarten, I think, uh, join the dots, and we'll just label the line as well in case we're going to draw another line on the same number plane. So pretty quick to sketch a line using intercepts there. We find them first by subbing in uh, y equals 0 and x equals 0. And then once we position those on the number plane, we can just join the dots and label it up. So pretty quick. It'll save us drawing up a table of values and uh, can be a pretty pretty uh, swift method there that uh, saves us a bit of time, particularly in a test. Okay, so uh, what we did there, we found the x-intercept by subbing in y equals 0 and solving the uh, resulting equation. Uh, subbed in uh, x equals 0 to find the y-intercept. Might have to do a bit of rearranging to get the letter on its own, but still. Then we plotted the x-intercept, we plotted the y-intercept, we joined the dots, and then we labeled the line. So I hope that helps, especially if you're asked to use the intercepts, but you can use this as one of your favorite methods to position a line uh, onto a number plane. Thanks for listening. See you next time for some more linear relationship videos. Anytime you like to uh, check on some maths for some revision or some practice, peterblakemaths.com.